Trish, uh, can you hear us? Hello? Yep, we can hear you. Oh, good. Now I can hear you. Hi. Um, first of all, um, I want to explain why I'm wearing a mask. I am an essential worker. I do work in the emergency room at Montefiore Hospital. And I have a son here that's a chronic asthmatic. I don't know if I'm asymptomatic, so I wouldn't want to put him or my family at risk. So that's why I still have my mask on. So excuse the appearance. Um, I met Melvin five years ago, a little over five years now, um, at a sickle cell walk. My daughter, she had just passed away the month prior um, to the walk. And and uh, it was a big turnout, all my family and friends, everyone came. And Melvin, he, um, he approached a couple of people in the, in the crowd, and they, which led him to me, because I, of course, I was the mom of, the, um, of you know, my daughter who passed. And um, he just was so, he told me he was so taken aback by the amount of love that he was, that to, she was shown. Um, you know, after pa having passed from this horrible disease um, that he also unfortunately succumbed to. And we had been friends ever since. Um, I had sat and talked with him a couple of times. I, um, we, we've been IG friends, Facebook friends, and he's always been so positive. Um, the last time I spoke to Melvin, he, we, would, we were discussing the 5G, um, that conspiracy theory that was going around. And, um, you know, he was giving me his, his account of it and what he thought about it. And, um, and he, he made sense. He was telling me how uh, it, he didn't necessarily believe it because, and he didn't feel I should feed too much, give it too much energy because he said that, the 5G towers are not in every country, yet the coronavirus is. And, um, and that made so much sense to me. And um, my, my condolences just goes out to Wanda and his family, all of you, all of you. He's touched every last one of us. And my, my heartfelt and deepest and most profound condolences go out to all of you um, during this time for his loss. And um, I know when I heard about it, I, I didn't actually hear about it. I went to go online and I saw something on the feed and um, I, 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 just, I just cried. I, it was inconsolable. I, I, I was just inconsolable because he has just been such a positive force. Right. Every, every conversation, um, he's always had something to say. It was never, he never, uh, you know, we never conversed and it, it was just about nothing. It was always substance in, in everything that he talked about. And, I'm sorry. Yeah, he, and so yeah, I just. Keep going. Okay, and um, he, he just always had something to say. And uh, my condolences also to his, his children, two boys and his little girl. He was just so so happy for and so proud of. That's, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for the time. No, thank you.